okay guys so yeah just a little update of what's been happening over the last few days last few weeks last few days so been tackling deck leaks of course and some window leaks so we had some seals on the windows that were leaking and yeah they're not a problem anymore and um, so we've just been sealing around the windows on the outside we did seal them before but for some reason there was leaks underneath again probably the same thing where they weren't cleaned out enough similar with the deck leaks i'd sealed them last summer and then now i had some leaks that were caused like from it was wet underneath and there was still like rot rotten timber and kind of like a muddy substance which was just rotten timber basically it just turned to mush and uh, just constantly getting wet water was getting in and it never dried even when i sealed it i obviously hadn't raked that deep enough and i thought i did a good job and of course you know you learn the hard way and i had to redo it so and it's great anyway that we had to we got to the job when we did so you know of course we put in like 15 of these extra deck supports here and uh, they have strengthened the deck a great amount and, and that's what's going to stand to it for for many years to come um, and a few other places of course we would uh, do some more of these strengthening pieces further up towards the bow it's not a problem i'll get to that when i come back so finally we've gotten to the bottom of the leaks it's really nice to step into the boat when it's lashing rain outside it's really heavy and all you can hear is silence <laughs> are the ripples of the water outside whereas before you'd come in and you just hear like drip 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 you'd hear the ambience of rain and it was just uh, it was awful it was so demotivating it was it was uh it was hard to hear it you know it was not nice because you've done so much work and then all your work has been undone you don't know what the problem is uh, anyway it feels like you don't get anywhere so now we've done some good work there's no more leaks and uh, there's slight slight drips of water coming in like literally just like sieving through it's, it's literally just soaking through the timber the timber and uh, basically where the gunnel is that's under you know on the at, you've got your deck planks and underneath your deck planks on the edge of the boat on the on the sides and the port and starboard side right up to the bow is like lengths of timber it's not one solid piece it's like multiple pieces that are scarfed into each other um because of course you couldn't curve the whole thing but they're in in big lengths and just a big thick block of wood that sits down we've you've seen us repair it before in the past and here at the stern it sits down on the oak frames and basically that length of timber that runs on each side has gotten a bit rotten it's got jeopardized over the years water has gotten into it and it started to rot so in places you have small bits of water leaking in here so it's tiny it's minute over days it adds up to a little bit you'll see on like a stringer down here in the village it doesn't get past the oak, oak uh, stringers, it takes a little bit and then eventually it'll make its way into the bilge where you can pump it out. But again you just get a, a, a sponge and soak it out. But we'll address that with wood hardener for now. We'll dry it with a hair dryer or the blowtorch from the outside interior. We'll use a hair dryer like over here we have to dry another piece that got wet. Um, yeah we basically just we, we spot fix it where we have leaks and uh, you just have little bits of drips of water that come in and here on the starboard side you don't have anything which is nice on the port side you have a little bit like just here in the fore cabin and a little tiny bit in the cabin behind the camera there not a problem just we patch it as we go like we it's literally a quick fix for now not a problem if we stop the leaks all well and good and then later on down the road we can go and fix it properly but for now it's a quick fix get living in the boat get a when i come back from finishing my documentary in a couple of months in two or three months and then i'll have you know just be working on the interior right through until the spring summer and then you know get back outside and work on the outside and just like paint and, and any sickle flex work that has to be done to the hull and again the sickle flex done to the diagonal mahogany you can see it running one way here on the outside it runs the opposite direction and that's also another contributor to the small leaks but not a problem so we just take out the other bits that are jeopardized where the sickle flex has gotten weak over time we just pull it out where there's a gap and then we just dry it and put in new stuff so it's that simple now um, again just small jobs that accumulate to doing a lot of work and uh, start to see good progress so that exactly as you can see today and in you know what we've accomplished in the last few weeks here in the last few days is incredible it's just so motivating to step into the boat and not hear rain it's just it's fantastic and it just gives you that boost of confidence that you're, you're doing good work and it's all adding up so it's uh, it's really great to see that guys and i hope that you can see that so that's it guys i just want to do like a little update talking to camera so you guys can see what's actually happening here i'm going to be back in a couple of months of course i'm going to be gone my father's going to be tipping away at some small jobs here and uh, fixing the stern and maybe even the hole up here in the bow so he's going to take the helm for the, for the next few months and then um, just maintain the boat and then when i come back in a couple of months time interior work and we'll start to get the layout real nice and uh, start to see things come together so i'm excited for what the future holds and uh, 
I hope uh, you're enjoying the episodes. And as always, guys, thanks for for uh, keeping up with the, the with the episodes. Thanks for the continued continuous support. And as as always, guys, stay productive and have fun creating. Thank you.